good morning. It's Pastor Tom. I have two passages that I think give us some great wisdom that I'd like to share with you this morning. They're both found in the book of Proverbs. First one is Proverbs 12, 15. It says, The way of a fool is right in his own eyes, but a wise man will listen to advice. The second uh, passage in Proverbs is Proverbs 15, 32. Whoever ignores instruction despises himself, but he who listens to reproof will gain intelligence. There's a story that I've read numbers of times over the years, sometimes a little bit of a different flair to it, but the story goes that there was a battleship that was traveling along the west coast of the United States out in the Pacific Ocean. It's close to the, again, the Pacific coast. And it's evening, and the ship's caught in a severe, serious storm. It's difficult to see. The waves are crashing. Again, it's hard to see where they're going. Now, the commander of the ship, he's up on the bridge, and he's notified that we spotted a light ahead. And the commander of the ship makes a statement to his underling, tell the vessel, steer 10 degrees to the east. And so the message is sent. The light comes back and says, no, you turn 10 degrees to the west. Now, the officer in charge is an admiral, and he gives the order, you send back a message, I want you to turn 10 degrees to the east. I'm an admiral. The message from the light comes back. You don't understand. I'm a seaman third class, and you need to turn 10 degrees to the west. Now the admiral's furious. Will you signal that fool one more time? Tell him I'm a battleship. Change your course. Turn 10 degrees to the east. And the light comes back. You change your course 10 degrees to the west. I'm a lighthouse. Now, how many of us are like the admiral who just absolutely digs in their heels and refuses to listen to others? How many of us are so proud, so arrogant at times that we literally refuse to listen to the advice of others even when that advice would be very important to us. Now God wants each of us to remain safe. That's what God wants for us. He wants to guide us away from the troubles and the perils of life and he recognizes that many times we're going to find ourselves in storms where we're going to try to figure out What's the safest way to go? He'll give us the advice, but the question is, are we willing to listen? Are we willing to have what I call a teachable spirit? Somebody who's willing to say, maybe I don't have all the answer. Maybe I need to have a heart that's willing to listen to sound advice. The Bible says that the Word of God is advice not given by men over the years, but by the Holy Spirit of God himself. And when it talks about the importance of the Word of God in life, I'd like you to look at Psalms 109, where it says, Your word is a lamp to guide my feet and a light for my path. I've promised it once and I'll promise it again. I'll obey your righteous regulations. In Romans 8.26, the Apostle Paul says, And the Holy Spirit helps us in our weakness. For example, we don't know what God wants us to pray for, but the Holy Spirit prays for us with groanings that cannot be expressed in words. And the Father who knows all hearts and all things knows what the Spirit is saying. 
for the Spirit pleads for us believers in harmony with God's will. And we know that God causes everything to work together for the good of those who love God and who are called according to his purpose. Do you see what all of these passages are saying? If we will just ask for help, God will give it to us. If we will just ask for help, he will give it in his word. But again, it just comes down. Are we too pride to, proud to ask? Are we too proud to listen and do what he says? This week, as you go through it and you face the challenges of life, don't try to do it all in your own strength. Don't try to figure it all out yourself. Go to God in prayer. Go to his word and ask him for direction. And when he gives it to us, be willing to say, I will do it in your way because your way is better than my way. Heavenly Father, allow us not only light to see, but a spirit that is teachable and willing to receive. Put my pride, arrogance, stubbornness away. For it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you. Hope you have a great week.